is what is he getting from this? Well, one, and I, I said to Dell and, and the staff, I said the greatest thing for me, I've had different points in my career that things have happened that have helped me as a coach. Um, being in the NBA for a while helped me in more ways than I can tell you. Getting fired in the NBA probably helped me just as much. Um, then the dribble drive, meeting up with Vance Walker changed how I thought. Now I want to do this, and I'm telling you, for me personally, what do I get from it? I get to grow as a basketball coach. We're sitting in Dunkin' Donuts yesterday, and he's going over pick and rolls in different ways we can play it. And there's two or three things I'm thinking, geez, that we could have done that. Well, the other thing that's going to happen is I'm going to coach against some of the best coaches in the world. And they're going to be doing stuff that I've never seen before, and I'm going to learn from it. It's going to make me a better coach. It's going to make me a better coach for the University of Kentucky. What are you, speaking of baseball, any idea of what the reaction has been in the Dominican Republic to this team and John Calipari and Dale Harris coaching and helping and that sort of thing? Um, I think that everybody's all for it. I mean, like I said, baseball in the Dominican Republic is, is uh, pretty well established. Um, you know, we haven't had as much success internationally in team competitions as we'd like. But, you know, again, I think that the chance for us to develop basketball as a as a opportunity for these kids to grow and to get an education is something that I, that as a company we just couldn't pass up either. So I think that that you know our 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 thinking aligned in, in this venture, um, and I think it's going to be great for the country. Dale, what can you tell us about Cal? We don't know. <coughs> uh, nothing. He's an open book. <laughs> <laughs> I speak my mind. <laughs> That's right. Now, what was it? You mentioned that you liked some of the initial things you saw from Eloy. Can you kind of go into a little more detail? Well, obviously, the, the size and his demeanor, uh, but the way he ran the court. Uh, you know, running the court, it doesn't sound like much. Uh, it's a, a huge talent, uh, particularly when uh, you have to be in that seven foot stratosphere to be able to, to run the court. And, you know, he, he has uh, uh, good hands. Uh, it, it's uh, really important. Uh, sounds simple enough. Again, run the court, catch the ball. But when you're 17, uh, those are the two basics, and the rest of it uh, you can learn. And you know, he's going to become more aggressive and such as he gets more confidence. Uh, his body's bigger now than it was, and that in itself gives you confidence. Any more questions? John Lee also got to play some this summer. He got to be in some competitive situations. Have you seen improvement? I mean, if you got to see him much, can you tell how much better he's got? Mm -hmm. I saw him yesterday for the first time. I, mean, I, I got Sandy Bell watching around me, so I can't go in the gym and go near anything. So I haven't seen these kids at all. Um, got my other assistant coach just walked in, Coach Hall. Good to see you, Coach. You got your practice gear on? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, we're ready to go. <laughs> Do I have to run stairs because I'm a little late? How's your Spanish? My Rosetto Stone Spanish um, is just okay. Del, we're going to work on the air. I got it in my computer, my iPad, so I can do more as I go. Um, but I thought it would just plug it in and it would just, I'd start spitting out sentences. It doesn't quite work that way. I didn't know that. But uh, I, can, I can probably look at a newspaper now and have a good idea of what the heck they're talking about to a certain degree. But not as good as I need it to be. The good news with this team, uh, English speaking, the couple that struggle, the others are interpreting right beside. So I'm not, I'm coaching. Um, it's funny, we're putting in the dribble drive. And for these guys, it's all brand new. And I told all of them, I want you to be uncomfortable. That's a good thing. It's like us coaches learning new things. You're uncomfortable learning new things. Well, guess what? As a player, adding things and changing and doing things a little different is uncomfortable. So they're, you know, we're trying to do some stuff, and it is a little uncomfortable. We're trying to figure out how we're going to play and, and all that. But I will say this. We are the underdog, and it's we understand how hard we're going to have to work to get ready. Um, and uh, it should be fun though. Two of our coaches are in Yeah, we got, you know, Orlando's there and Felipe Lopez is there and Rod Strick is there. So we've, you know, we've got a good group and uh, 
you know, it's uh, we're moving into Wildcat Lodge after the players are moving a week, so it'll be easy to get across the in and out for them. And um, right now they're in a hotel, and so. But I want to have fun doing this. And, and, and they all said, and you and I know the only way to have fun is win. So that's true. So we're preparing and just worrying about today, getting better today. And they seem like, uh, I, I don't know, but it seems like they're having fun with this. They're being challenged by it. They know they got to get in better shape, and, and they want to do this. So. You know, I, I wanted to say a word about Eduardo. Uh, just an amazing man. What he's doing uh, is uh, incredible. Uh, and uh, you know, I didn't know him at all, but I'm totally impressed with Eduardo as a great uh, human being and, and a man who uh, absolutely loves his country. Any more questions? Thank you.